Hello, welcome back to Nat Valley Farms. Day, it's uh, Monday, May 8th, and uh, we just went through a very hard freeze last night. That frost all over the ground. Very late in the season for that sort of thing. So after that hard frost, came out here. Our blossoms are still on the trees. We don't know whether it's going to have killed them off yet or not. We've not experienced this before. But what I really wanted to talk about today is our strawberry patch. So this area we planted last year. We put in about 125 uh, bare root strawberry crowns. Wow, I didn't know it was that much. Yep, uh, three different varieties. And the plan was to try to have strawberries available at lots of different times. And I didn't really make a real careful effort to keep everything in the same spot. Just mixed them in together. But now we need to get, do some maintenance on them this spring. So that's what we're going to talk about. All right, so here we can see beautiful strawberry plants. And when they're coming up, these little crowns here. And what we want to do is eliminate some of the weed pressure and give them some more food. So here's an example. As we look closely at these, we can see there's a lot of weeds that have started to invade the strawberries. And they'll steal nutrients and make it hard for us to get as good of a harvest. That's why they're called weeds. <laughs> yes, indeed. So I'm trying to get as much of them out as I can. I kind of dig around, find where the crowns are strong, and find where the main weeds are, and get them out of here. Once I get an area of those weeds out, then I go ahead, and I've got some great fresh compost here. This compost is actually composted manure, so there should be a lot of nutrients in there. I'm gonna carefully place it between strawberry crowns to build up this the fertility in that area. This is a very painstaking, labor-intensive process, but hopefully it'll result in lots of yummy strawberries later on this season. You can also see that once we've got that compost in, it kind of puts this berry plant in a better position and makes it a little easier to find out where those pesky weeds are. Over here, we have a different problem. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I stepped on his boot. <laughs> the boot roll. So this is a mustard plant. They, Everyone loves mustard, but... Lots of people they don't. They don't belong in strawberry patches. That's, That's for sure. Problem. And if those flowers go ahead and create new mustard seed, this whole garden will be full of mustard. So, again, following the plant down to its base, keeping that strawberry crown away. And look at that right. <laughs> That's the blue first roll. All right. All right. It's just a glimpse of our in the end of the video. So, there's another little pesky weed, some more open space. These are these vines tend to crawl around. Oh, and here's an interesting thing. This is actually a runner where one strawberry plant goes forth and sets a new strawberry plant. Nothing bad about those, but we want to trim those so it's a little easier to take care of our berries. Some more weeds. Look at this crown right here between the all right, so this little wall that we have here is to keep some of the grass from growing into there. And it's just repurposed cinder blocks that we had laying around. So might as well use them for building what you need in your garden. Always think about what you don't have to buy. It may not look as fancy, but it'll save you money in the garden. And you can buy some more crops. That's right. Or you can buy ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In goes a little more compost around those crowns. And hopefully, 
within the next few days, we'll start to get this whole area controlled, weeded, and composted. Thanks for joining us. Woo! I sprayed myself with garden dirt at the Knapp Valley Farm. Keep on growing.